Hey everyone, how y'all doing out there? So, uh, it's, it's harvesting time, but it's a special kind of harvest. You have to do this with everything in your garden if you don't want to wind up paying more and working harder for something that you're paying at least just as much for. You have to harvest your own seeds. Otherwise, you're buying them every year, and if you're doing this to save money, you waste some money. So, you harvest your own seeds, and then having a garden is like owning a, a money printing machine. So, <clears throat> here's what I do. I let, it, I let them dry out completely, so that you know there's nearly no chance of, of getting nice, fresh fruit. So, here's, see how dry that is? Right there, and I just throw them, I just collect them in a bucket, or basket or whatever you just pull them a lot of times the whole plant because uh, i don't i'm not careful at this point a lot of times the whole plant will come up out of the ground and it will because i will take this fence down and see these are edible peas you can still collect them for seeds it's just this plant could possibly keep growing except for i probably i probably just killed it <laughs> by pulling on it too hard but it's not real healthy looking it's just uh, been too hot and too sunny in this spot I think I think if I would have had them shaded a lot better they would have lasted longer and they definitely would have grown they definitely would have grown more they should have easily come up over this this uh, fence but that's okay. I never do have a lot of luck with peas. But that's usually why, I think. Because my garden is almost always, I put it in full sunlight. Maybe I ought to think about putting my peas closer to my corn next year. That's an idea. Maybe the corn will give them a little shade. Maybe they'll last a little longer. See, there's one that just come clear up out of the ground when I tried to pull it. Now what you want to do though, is once they dry out like that, you don't want to wait too much longer because they will start getting kind of weird, kind of moldy and black. Well, I don't know if that really, that one, the seeds are too small. I wouldn't even worry about it. Plant something like that and you'll get stunted plants. Worse than what I've got. Oops, and there's another plant that came clear about. But I'll go ahead and I'll shell these just like I was going to eat them. Yeah. And then I'll put them in like a uh, paper, a paper bag. Uh, keep them, keep the sunlight off of them, keep them nice and dry. And then just hold on to them over the winter spring comes you dig a hole and put them in a hole and wait for them to grow that's all there is to farming if you miss some it's no big tragedy and, and that you definitely want to make sure you got enough seeds another plant come up you want to make sure you got enough seeds to do whatever you need to do next year see once they're dead like that they they pull up real easy but uh yeah i should have used a tripod doing this but
but uh, I'm trying to move along because it's getting dark outside. I want to get this done before it's too dark to see. All right. Okay, so that's all we got. It's not a whole lot. It was pretty thin harvest, but uh, that should be enough to, to plant another three rows next year. And uh, yeah, I think next year we'll plant our rows a lot closer to the corn. Maybe even try planting between the corn to shade them because I'm, I'm pretty sure that's where I'm going wrong. Too much sun, probably not enough water too. Yeah, so, oh man, this spaghetti squash is going crazy. And I know you probably can't see it from the camera, but... I'm seeing all kinds of little squashes starting to grow. Oh, that's good, that's good. Yep. So what I'm gonna to do tonight, it's gonna to be too dark in the rabbit hutches to really film, but uh, what I'm gonna to do tonight is, uh, while we still have some daylight, I'm going to uh, do a little bit more weeding in my garden and uh, get some purslane. Uh, give it to the chickens and uh, Chuck my friend Chuck from Over there in Illinois. He said hey, you know you I didn't know you could do this But he says you can dry that personally and feed it to the chickens over the winter. I Didn't know that and I haven't looked it up, but uh, Chuck usually when he says something He either knows what he's talking about or he's done some research and it's probably pretty dependable so yesterday I went through and started on my first um, first round of uh, parsley or parsley pers purslane harvesting uh, for winter. And uh, here's what I've done: put them on this screen on the wheelbarrow. I've turned them once today. They're still wet underneath. I'm trying to do it so what falls through falls in the wheelbarrow should be fairly much dry just basically what's in the middle yeah basically that well, actually smells good basically what's in the middle is still wet yeah that's that's drying pretty well I mean that's that's not a whole lot you know uh, there was a lot of grass mixed in with it. But the chickens will eat that too. Oh, Butch. Butch knows it's time for snacks. This is the time of night we have snacks. And snacks usually are, you know, weeds or things that I pull out of the garden. Tonight I'm going to pull some turnips out that are too close together. You want to take a look at my turnips? They're too close together. When they're too close together, of course, they're, they won't they won't completely grow. They'll only grow so big and stop. So here's one. It's too close. Too close to the other one. It's turnips. Oh, look at that little stunted thing. There's one. Yeah. And I have a lot of them. This whole row, they're all too close. They needed they need to weed it out a little. So let's see here. I just go for the middle ones usually. There we got three. Yep. We'll just pick a few. The rabbits will eat them. Sometimes the rabbits won't eat the uh, the head of the turnip, but the chickens will. Yeah. See here. Three more. You just reach in and grab a handful and you'll get a bunch. Because they're just... The day I did it, I was in a hurry for some reason, which is dumb to get in a hurry when you're gardening. And I dropped the seeds in. And of course, these kind of seeds, they're really, really tiny. And if you want me to show you how to harvest these kind of seeds, I can show you that too. That'll be a little bit on down the line, though. Uh, here's a nice, there's a nice one right there. That's kind of more like what we're looking for growing for us. And what I like to do is put these in the oven. 
bake them. And if you want me to show you that, I'll show you that too. But you got to tell me. Otherwise, I fear you don't care. Hey, chickadee. Hey, chickadee. I think all your sisters went to bed. You're like, I want some of that purslane. I know. They love that purslane. They totally devoured a whole bunch of it I gave them yesterday. All right. Well, anyways, it's too dark probably to take you into the hutches. I don't know. Well, anyway, doesn't matter. I don't want this video to go on forever and ever. Yeah. So we're gonna we're gonna go treat the rabbits to a, to a nice snack tonight. It's been hot. We've been tolerating this weather, and uh, they don't even have AC. They just have this fan going in here, and uh, so we're All gonna right. treat them. So treat them good. Went in there, fed them their goodies. This is what's left over from yesterday when I did the same thing because I've got so many turnips that I need to take care of. So tomorrow we'll put this in here and the chickens, the little chickadees, will eat most of it. It'll take them a couple of days. They actually seem to prefer these when they're rotten. But I'll just throw them down there and they'll find them when they get up in the morning. Yep. They'll peck at them till they eat them. Yep, yep, yep. Well, I've got some other things to do. It's not too exciting, so uh, I'm going to get to it. I want to do a little more weeding, like I said, personally. Uh, so I'm going to get to doing that. You guys uh, go back through and watch some, uh, some more videos if you ain't have enough of this one. Thanks for watching. Have a good one. Uh, don't forget, don't shoot the pig.